Nvidia has announced the super additions to its 40 series lineup, and it's actually reasonable? At CES 2024, Nvidia announced three new GPUs, the 4070 Super, the 4070 Ti Super, and finally the 4080 Super. And much to, I'm sure, many surprise, these new graphics cards seemingly come in at a reasonable price points given their hardware and performance profiles. Kicking off the lineup is the 4070 Super, and Nvidia is billing it as faster than a 3090 for $599. The 4070 Super is getting a CUDA core bump to 7168, while the vanilla 4070 has a meager 5888, which is over a 20% increase. The 4070 Super will now also use a nearly perfect 8104 die, so you're getting a more refined and better binned chip, which should allow you to push a little bit more plot speeds out of it as well, assuming you have the thermal headroom to do so. That's about it for the changes, as the 4070 Super is probably the most boring card we'll talk about today. Next on the newly announced lineup is the 4070 Tie Super, which no one knew was possible to have both Tie and Super in the same product name until now, and this is where possibly the most exciting changes and upgrades are happening. Perhaps the most crucial upgrade is to the memory. The 4070 Ti Super features 16 gigs of GDDR6 Ets, which is a huge boon as the 4070 Ti was right over the coals for only launching with 12 gigs of memory, as was originally going to be another skew of the 4080. Man, those were the days. To complement the increased memory, the 4070 Ti Super will also get a 256 bit memory bus, up from 192. Another change of note is also the upgrade to the 80103 die, which is the same chip in the 4080 and the 4080. Super, but more on that later. These upgrades to the memory system, as well as the new chip, pretty much made the 4070 Ti Super closer to a cut down 4080 as opposed to an upgraded 4070. And that could be an important difference, as the 4070 Ti Super now slots itself in as an entry level 4K gaming card, especially when you consider frame gen. And for the price of $799, I can't help but feel like this should have been the original 4070 Ti pricing all in all. Finally, there's the 4080 Super which Nvidia claims is around 3% better than a 4080, and is launching at $999. Damn good deal. So the card performs better and is cheaper than the 4080 at launch, and as someone who bought a 4080 at $1200 MSRP, despite lamenting about it in this video here, I'm actually okay with it. The 4080 Super has a small, and I mean small, bump in CUDA cores of about 5%, and a little love tap increased memory bandwidth to 23 gigabits per second. No successor has been announced for the 4090 yet, if there will even be one. Another component of these Super cards launching is that Nvidia will also be discontinuing the 4080 as well as the 4070 Ti, so once these Super cards launch, they will replace some of the old cards, which kind of changes the pricing discussion a little bit. To get right into it, and to put it frankly, I'm glad to see Nvidia start to ratchet down the price. It's generally a very good thing for the market, and it's indicative of Nvidia leaving this sort of awkward time period where they were trying to move several years of oversupply bat stock of the 30 series in parallel to the 40 series, as myself and others have proposed for the egregious launch price of the 40 series. Nvidia has finally righted the wrong of the 4070 Ti, and now Nvidia is looking fairly robust across several price points, with the 4090 still maintaining its canyon in performance performance and pricing from the 4080 Super. I can really only hope that these GPUs are the first couple of steps of returning to normalcy for Nvidia. Let us know down in the comments what you think about these new Super cards, and I'll see you in the next one.